In this video, I'd like to talk about the math question of the day for April 4th, 2023. And with this problem, we need to find the slope of the line that passes through the points minus four comma two and six comma six. So to answer a question like this, you do need the tools of algebra one. And at this point, go ahead and pause the video, see if you can work through this on your own. And when you're ready, unpause the video and we can go through this together. Now, assuming that you have attempted the problem, let's start working through it. And if you do have suggestions for future questions of the day, feel free to leave those as comments. Now, the slope of the line, we can draw a picture of this if we want. So let me quickly draw a coordinate plane. We can plot this point right here, this minus four comma two in blue. Minus four comma two would just be right there. And we can plot this one in a pink color at six comma six. We go over six and then up six. It should be right about there. And the slope of the line will connect these with a line now. And the slope just tells us how steep that the line actually is. Let me try to redraw that a little bit better. So like I said, the slope just measures the steepness of this line. How quickly is it rising or falling as the x values get bigger and bigger? And slope can be defined in several different ways. One of those in its general sense is that it is the steepness of the line, but mathematically we can define this as how the y values change. This just means change in, this is the Greek letter delta, the change in the y values divided by the change in the x values. Though many students will just remember this as the rise, how much it goes up and down, divided by the run, how much it goes to the right. And if we wanna be more specific about this, we can have two general points, let's say x1, y1, and we can have x2, comma y2. The change in the y values is just the difference in the y values we have y2 and we will subtract y1 from that and then for the x values it's the same idea let me make just a bit more room here we will take x2 and subtract x1 from that so this is a formula we can use to calculate the slope of the line and keep in mind that if we put y2 first, then we need to put x2 first. But we could have switched this order. We could do y1 minus y2, though if we switch it, we need to do x1 minus x2. So just be careful with your ordering there. And if we look at this point here, this 6 comma 6, we can call this one x2 and this one y2. And similarly, for this point minus 4, 2, this can be x1 comma y1. And at this point, we just need to plug everything into our formula here so that we have our slope being equal to y2, which is six, minus y1, which is two, and we divide by x2, which is six, and we subtract x1, which is negative four. Be careful with your signs here. Since we are subtracting a negative, six minus two is four, and in the denominator, we have six minus negative four or six plus four, which will simplify to 10. And we can divide top and bottom by two so that we end up with two fifths. And this is the slope of our line. And the way to interpret this, this slope here, is every time we rise two units up, we have a run of five units to the right. And we can visually see that every time we go over five, right about there, we will go up two and we do it again. We go over five up two and we end up at our second point here. So the final answer for this question is simply two fifths.